Hi friends, this is Suma from softwaretestingmaterial.com. In this video, we are going to see Selenium interview questions. This is a part 2 of Selenium interview questions. Earlier we have made a video on real-time Selenium interview questions. I don't want to take much time of yours, so I would like to state all the questions which we have dealt in that video here. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that little notification bell so that you will always be the first to see all our new videos. Now let's get started. Also I suggest you to watch some other videos such as why you choose software testing as a career. Let's get started with Selenium interview question. What is stale element reference exception? Stale means old, decayed, no longer fresh. Stale element means an old element or no longer available element. Assume there is an element that is found on a web page referenced as a web element in web driver. If the DOM changes, then the web element goes stale. If we try to interact with an element which is stale, then the stale element reference exception is thrown. Causes of stale element reference exception A stale element reference exception is thrown in one of two cases, the first being more common than the second. The two reasons for stale element reference are The element has been deleted entirely. The element is no longer attached to the DOM. We face this stale element reference exception when the element we are interacting is destroyed and then recreated again. When this happens, the reference of the element in the DOM becomes stale. Hence, we are not able to get the reference to the element. Let's take an example. There is an element say, click on the web page. We are writing a script to click on that element. Based on our script, say, driver dot find element by xpath dot click. We all know that Selenium gets a unique reference ID to the element in the DOM. When the JavaScript or Ajax updates the page, the driver reference will be detached from the web page. Here, the reference to the element in the DOM that previously recorded becomes a stale. Now, if Selenium try to interact with the element in the DOM with the earlier reference ID, then the stale element reference exception will be thrown. How to overcome stale element reference exception in Selenium? Solution 1. You can refresh the page and try again for the same element. Solution 2. If an element is not attached to the DOM, then you could try using try catch block within for loop. Solution 3. Wait for the element till it gets available. Use weights. Have you created any framework? For this question, if you say answer as yes, then interviewer will ask you some other questions related to the framework you worked. So, be prepared with your framework. Now, let's see how to answer to the question, have you created any framework? If you are a beginner, no, I didn't get a chance to create framework from the scratch. I have used the framework which is already available. My contribution is mostly in creating test cases by using the existing framework. If you are a beginner but you have good knowledge on creating framework, you can say yes, I have involved in developing framework along with other automation tester in my company. If you are an experienced tester, you can say I have contributed in developing framework. Or you can say, yes, I have created framework from the scratch. There was no automation process in my previous company. I designed the framework from the scratch. 
how many test cases you have automated per day this is a quite common question in the automation interviews you will be asked this question to know whether you have real time experience or not so how can you answer to this question it depends on test case scenario complexity and length i did automate 2 to 5 test scenarios per day when the complexity is limited sometimes just one or fewer test scenarios in a day when the complexity is high what is the difference between single slash and double slash single slash single slash is used to create x path with absolute path that is the x path would be created to start selection from the document node or start node double slash double slash is used to create x path with relative path this is the x path would be created to start selection from anywhere within the document what is the difference between absolute path and relative path absolute x path starts from the root node and ends with desired descendant elements node it starts with top html node and ends with input node it start with a single forward slash as shown below relative x path starts from any node in between the html page to the current elements node it starts with a double forward slash as shown below what is the difference between assert and verify in selenium it is one of the popular interview questions they may ask you about soft assert and hard assert that we will see after this question both assert and verify commands are used to find whether a given input is present or not on the web page there are some difference between assert and verify in selenium assert command in selenium when an assert command fails the test execution will be aborted so when the assertion fails all the test steps after that line of the code are skipped the solution to overcome this issue is to use a try catch block we use the assertion in the try catch block mostly the assert command is used when the end result of the check value should pass to continue to the next step in simple words if the assert condition is true then the program control will execute the next test step but if the condition is false the execution will stop and further test step will not be executed to overcome this we use soft assert in test ng we will see soft assert later let's move on to verify verify command in selenium when a verify command fails the test will continue executing and logging the failure mostly the verify command is used to check non critical things in such cases where we move forward even though the end result of the check value is failed in simple words there won't be any halt in the test execution even though the verify condition is true or false note in test ng we use only assert statements we can use verify statement in terms of if else and try catch check this link for sample programs this link also mentioned in the description below what are soft assert and hard assert in selenium we have already learnt what is assert now let's see what is hard assert and soft assert in selenium we know that assets are used to perform validations in the test scripts there are two types of assert hard assert and soft assert when an asset fails the test script stops execution unless handled in some form we call general asset as hard asset hard asset hard asset throws an asset exception immediately when an asset statement fails and test suite continues with next at test 
the disadvantage of hard asset it marks method as fail if asset condition gets failed and the remaining statements inside the method will be aborted to overcome this we need to use a soft asset let's see what is soft asset soft asset soft asset collects errors during at test soft asset does not throw an exception when an asset fails and would continue with the next step after the asset statement if there is an exception and you want to throw it then you need to use asset all method as a last statement in the at test and test suite again continue with next at test as it is we need to create an object to use a soft asset which is not needed in hard asset what are the ways to refresh a browser using selenium web driver there are multiple ways to refresh a page in selenium using driver dot navigate dot refresh command using driver dot get url on the current url or driver dot get current url using driver dot navigate dot to url on the current url or driver dot navigate dot to driver dot get current url using send keys keys dot f5 on any text box on the web page how to launch a browser using selenium web driver web driver is an interface we create an object of a required driver class such as firefox driver chrome driver internet explorer driver etc to launch firefox driver web driver driver is equal to new firefox driver if you use gecko driver with selenium you must upgrade to selenium 3.3 here we have to set the property as follows system dot set property pass parameters web driver dot gecko dot driver and gecko driver dot exe path to launch chrome driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver to launch internet explorer driver web driver driver is equal to new internet explorer driver to launch safari driver web driver driver is equal to new safari driver is the firefox driver a class or an interface firefox driver is a java class and it implements the web driver interface what happens if i run this command driver dot get off www dot software testing material dot com an exception is thrown we need to pass http protocol within driver dot get method to avoid exception we need to pass url as driver dot get https www dot software testing material dot com what is the alternative to driver dot get method to open an url using selenium web driver these kind of questions they ask you to confuse you here is the alternative method to driver dot get method is driver dot navigate to what is the difference between driver dot get and driver dot navigate to driver dot get to open an url and it will wait till the whole page gets loaded driver dot navigate dot to to navigate to an url and it will not wait till the whole page gets loaded can i navigate back and forth in a browser in selenium web driver we use navigate interface to do navigate back and forth in a browser it has methods to move back forward as well as to refresh a page driver dot navigate dot forward to navigate to the next web page with reference to the browser's history 
driver dot navigate dot back takes back to the previous web page with reference to the browser's history. Driver dot navigate dot refresh to refresh the current web page, thereby reloading all the web elements. Driver dot navigate dot to to launch a new web browser window and navigate to the specified URL. What are the different types of navigation commands? Even for this question, you have to answer the same as the previous one. Here is the answer for you once again. Thanks friends, if you have any queries, please comment below. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to like the video. I will see you soon in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.